All right, Coach Peterson, for your men's cross country team, it's going to be a big year coming off of winning the conference meet last year. Is that a big booster heading into this season? Well, I think so. Uh, it, was, it was a fun year uh, for our men last year. Uh, they won the conference meet by one point uh, in cross country. That's, that's awfully close. Uh, that, that's two kids flipping at the end of the, the race or whatever. And so uh, that, that's fun to be on the, on the winning side of that. And obviously it, it hurts to be on the losing side of that. So uh, we did do that and, and you know, finished second in the region again by one point uh, and then uh, advanced to national. So it was a, a successful year. Uh, that group has won uh, three out of the four last MIAA championships. Uh, so that was a, a very good group and uh, uh, fun to look back on that. And now it's time to move forward. And you are losing a few powerful seniors. So what do you want out of the guys coming back? How do you want them to step up? Well, you know, we lost uh, some three very good runners that were in our top five uh, that provided uh, talent uh, and a lot of leadership as well. And so that, that's going to be a real challenge for this group moving forward, uh, losing that. We have Adam Treadway, who is an all-conference performer, back. And we have a lot of guys, I think, that have potential and have had, at times, showed promise uh, last year and, and previous years. So uh, it's time for them to step up, and, and it's their team now. So uh, I look forward to that challenge. Uh, I think they do as well and know that. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge that we have ahead of us, and that's replacing uh, three quality runners and, and trying to defend the conference title. Did they come back in shape from the summer, or are you still kind of, you know, putting them out there on those runs hard? Well, you know, it's uh, been, been, we're in week two of our training. Uh, it's been very hot uh, after a pretty mild summer. So that's some challenges, and, and uh, what we've been d done so far is very simple things. And so telling exactly where we're at is, is really difficult at this point, and we won't know until really we get to our first home meet uh, in uh, September 13th at the Mule Run. You don't really get to see all the conference teams at once, obviously until the conference meet, but throughout the season you will see them at different meets. Do you check that out? Do you get a little preview of what the conference meet will be like? Well, throughout, throughout the, our regular season we'll see most of the conference, uh, typically, and, and uh, you know, in, in cross country, we have a one conference championship uh, race uh, on that day, and the winner is, is crowned champion. So, uh, but we'll see some uh, schools here at home. We'll see uh, schools when we go to Minnesota, and that is a meet where we see a lot of our region as well. And so, that kind of tells us where we're at in our region, as maybe well as our conference. How tough is the MIAA championship meet? Well, it's, it's really balanced, I think, right now, and, and uh, you know, we've grown, and so that uh, makes a, a big difference in cross-country and track when we're trying to get in the top 10 or top 20 as an individual. Um, there's more teams, and so that makes it more of a challenge. Uh, I think this year on, on both sides, uh, men and women, there's a big senior class that graduated last year, and so roughly half of the top 20 runners uh, in last year's meet are gone. And that, uh, again, will create, uh, I think, a lot of balance within the conference schools. Uh, we'll give opportunity for new kids to come in and uh, hopefully be successful and be a part of that group. And, and uh, I hope our team realizes that that opportunity is there and we'll take advantage of it. For your men this season, what are some goals you have that you want the team to accomplish? Well, as, after winning three out of four conference titles, uh, you know, that, that's always a goal. We qualified for nationals last year. Uh, would like to get to that level again. That'll be a challenge with uh, the, uh, new faces, and we'll see how they respond to uh, being in a new role of, of being in leaders and, and being up front. So uh, that's all to, to uh, see in the future. Moving on to the women, you seem to be getting kind of better and better every year. Do you see that still progressing this year? Well, we have a, a, a very strong runner and in, in senior, Megan Glayman. Uh, she's back for her senior year. Uh, she's progressed well every year. Uh, was uh, had some big races at the conference outdoor championships last year, uh, and so we're looking for big things from her. Uh, Allie Rexroad is another one that was honorable mention all conference last year. Uh, she was in Spain last spring, so didn't get to see her very much on the track, uh, but she's come back very focused and excited, hungry, I think. Uh, for uh, for this fall, so uh, looking that uh, have have some.
freshmen that uh, hopefully will uh, get their feet wet early and, and get ready for college cross country and uh, make us better. How do you want those freshmen to help you this season? Well, I think, uh, you know, we're, we'll expect some of them to uh, be in the scoring positions in our top seven and top five. And, uh, you know, uh, we also have some returners that uh, I think have made some progress and grown a little bit. So uh, we've lost uh, one of our seniors last year, Courtney Clady, uh, who was a top 15 runner. Uh, but the majority of our group is back. So uh, looking forward to them making progress individually and as a team. On the women's side at that big conference meet, since you brought up Megan, how does she help everyone else in, in that MIAA setting? Well, she's, she's a strong runner. She, her background uh, coming out of high school, uh, struggled her freshman year, uh, was not one of our better athletes, uh, but she's progressed through extremely hard work, runs a lot of miles, uh, and I think the rest of the team sees that and uh, acknowledges that, hey, if, if she can do this, then I can do this as well. And so. Uh, that's exciting and, and uh, she's, she is definitely a strong leader in our, our team. And what about goals for your women? What do you want them to accomplish this season? Finished fifth in the conference meet last year and, and you know I thought we ran well at the conference meet. Uh, we would like to finish higher than that this year and, and uh, that's going to require some of our freshmen to step in and be uh, successful early on and uh, hopefully they can do that. Uh, looking forward to it and again on the women I, you know, I think uh, there's a lot of turnover as well. Uh, there were a lot of seniors last year, so uh, there's new opportunities uh, uh, for kids on our team and every other team uh, to be successful. I'm looking forward to a, a really close, balanced race uh, this fall on both the, the men's and women's cross-country championships.